Well, changes in our climate are dominating President Obama's final days in office. Tonight on the White House lawn, the president is taking part in an ideas festival that includes a discussion of the dangers of a warming planet. The president has called global warming a slow motion catastrophe. Scientists worried about how the human race will feed itself are working on a radical new idea. Mark Phillips has the fruits of their labor in the Netherlands for tonight's Climate Diaries. If rising sea levels and more flooding are the inevitable future of climate change, there's a place in the world that may have found at least part of the solution. Nobody knows more about dealing with encroaching waters than the Dutch, where more and more salty water has been seeping through the dikes onto agricultural land. On this experimental farm, they've been trying to see what might actually grow in those conditions. How are you finding out what works? Simply by uh, uh, letting the plants tell us which is uh, salt tolerant and which isn't. Which is why they call Mark Van Rysselberg the potato whisperer. He speaks potato. If they die, they give you a statement and uh, for, uh, fortunately, we don't have to kill our scientists before they give a statement. <laughs> but they don't all die, the potatoes, far from it. They've tested hundreds of varieties here, irrigating them with increasingly salty water, and they found plenty that love the stuff. But there'd be no point unless those survivors were also edible. I'll try the brown one first. first. Yeah. Tastes like a good potato. Yeah. And the other one tastes like a good potato, but different. I'm betting this is the salty one. You're absolutely right, Mark. Hmm. So far, so interesting. But there are real current applications for this discovery. In this salt-affected region of Pakistan, one of many such regions around the world, they'd given up trying to grow anything until the Dutch showed up with their salt-resistant potatoes. The result, bumper crops. Amsterdam University botanist Arend de Vos runs the project and says it works for other vegetables too. You can use half seawater salinity to have still... Uh, half seawater? Yeah, we have carrots that grow on half seawater salinity. So according to this old data, they should be dead uh, already. But these carrots can feed many people uh, worldwide. The potato whisperer not only provides the ingredients, he has the recipe. We can make onions, carrots, and potatoes for the people in Bangladesh and, uh, and Pakistan. And then they have a proper meal. A little curry spice and you're talking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're talking about breaking new ground here in so many ways. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Tessel Island, the Netherlands.